Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to film another how-to video for you guys. Maybe you enjoy these, I don't know. I enjoy making them and today's is going to be how to do an aerial. And what is an aerial? An aerial is basically a cartwheel with no hands. I have gotten a lot of requests on Instagram to make this video, so here we are. Welcome back to another voiceover video starring me, Gina. Okay, so basically I'm going to show you three different exercises that are going to help you strengthen your legs so that you're better able to perform your aerial. And why are we doing legs? Well, we're doing legs because the aerial is all about lower body strength. The first exercise is going to be these jumping squats, and I love doing jumping squats in so many of my different workouts. Exercise number two is going to be a lunge with a kickback, which will make complete sense at the end of this video. But here, as you can see, I'm lunging and then I'm squeezing my glute and really kicking that heel up to the ceiling. What's really important during this exercise is that I'm keeping my hips square. And what does that mean? Well, basically what that means is if we pretend I had two headlights on my hip bones facing forward and I was in a dark room and I was walking on a tightrope. Yeah, this is getting crazy, okay? I would want to ensure that my hips stayed exactly straight forward so that I wouldn't fall off into the depths of whatever is beneath me. And that is the best visual representation I can give you for keeping your hips square. So it's super important and you do not want to open up your hips to the side at any point during this exercise. In this next exercise, we're incorporating a lunge into a skipping jump here. So as you can see, I lunge back and then I use my front leg to power me into a straight jump on my opposite leg. At this moment in the video, I'm already dying, so don't judge me, but I'm also a little bit sick. So here we are switching it up onto the other side and I'm done because I'm over that, very quickly over that. Let's move on to some more exciting stuff. These are a few drills that I have for you guys, approximately five drills, there's five drills. This first one is the T drill. And I love doing this one because it really helps you understand how to get that back leg up and over the head and then also put it back down on the ground behind you. A lot of people really struggle with the T-drill, so it's super important to give that one a go. And it's also really good for helping build your handstand strength. The second drill is going to be your standard cartwheel. I'm doing this on my dominant side. I'm starting with my arms up, I'm doing a cartwheel, and I'm finishing facing the other wall. For drill number two, we're also going to try a cartwheel on the opposite side. It's going to feel real weird, but it's important that we work both sides so we build that good strength. Drill number three is going to be a cartwheel where we end on one leg. This is very tough, and I'm actually not that good at them. So here's me failing. But we start with our arms up to the sky, and we go into our cartwheel as we normally do. And then we're going to finish in what is called an arabesque. And an arabesque is basically where you land with your glutes squeezed and your leg raised above the ground. I hope that you guys notice that my arms do not leave my ears during any of these skills. Drill number four is going to be a single arm cartwheel. This drill is really good for teaching you how to place weight on one single arm versus two. So you're having to really push through that shoulder and the second arm kind of swings through and around and up to my ears at the end. Drill number five is one of my favorites, and it's a really, really good one to work on building your strength for your aerial. This is called a dive cartwheel. In my dive cartwheel, I'm focusing on driving my back leg up as my arms swing under and I push hard off of my front leg to create lift before my hands reach the floor. Here it is one more time in slow motion. I start with my arms up, I reach them under, I push hard off that front leg, and then I land. Moving on to the final skill, the aerial. I'm gonna show you guys in regular speed what it looks like, and then I'll slow it down for you, and I'll tell you a few more tips and tricks that I know as far as the skill goes. I took my shoes off and laid down some mats for this because my shoes weigh me down, and you know, I just wanna fly. So here I am, shoeless, and with some mats to protect my landing. The biggest piece of advice I have for learning an aerial, and it's something that people often neglect, is that when we push hard off of our front leg, 
we lift our back leg, but not only do we lift our back leg, but we also lift our chest. Here I am starting with my arms up. I take a big step forward. I push hard and I think lift my chest as I drive my back leg over. Let's watch it in slow motion. So here again, I start with my arms up by my ears and I take a big lunging step forward. I push so hard off that front leg as my back leg comes up and drives above my head. Here, I also lift my chest. This helps get me off the ground for this skill. Another important point to make is that I'm using my arms to help lift me as well. They have a job in the skill just like my legs do. So as I swing them through, I lift them up and back into my skill. I tried to break it down for you guys a little bit more so you could see exactly what I'm doing. So here's a slow mode version. I take a big, big lunging step forward with my arms by my ears and then they throw backwards and upwards as that back leg lifts and drives my heel up. If you're also new to learning an aerial, it's important that you go and check out a gym where someone can help give you more tips because I can only do so much on the internet. They will also have some mats and things that will make it easier for you to practice some more drills because I do find it easier when learning an aerial to take off of an elevated surface. These are just some exercises and some tips and some drills that you can practice at home if you are working toward an aerial and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you like this one please be sure to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already done that and I will catch you next time.